hi friends this is Gautam in this video tutorial I am going to discuss about address resolution protocol so before going to see this topic so if you are understand about OSA model and IP address and subnetting concept means it's easy to understand this concept address resolution protocol so what I am going to explain in this video session let's see address resolution protocol so if you learn about the OSA model and encapsulation and decapsulation you know that when two computers on the LAN want to communicate with each other so the following will happen so for an example in LAN network two computers are there so from one computer to another computer if I am trying to ping so an IP packet is created so while I am pinging so that time IP packet is created with source and destination IP address carrying the data from an application next one the IP packet will be encapsulated in an Ethernet frame with a source and destination MAC address so the IP packet will be encapsulated in an Ethernet frame because in sender side from sender to receiver from sender application layer to physical layer is an encapsulation again receiver side physical layer to application layer is a decapsulation so here sender is a PC1 is a sender from sender layer 3 to layer 2 so that's why the IP packet will be encapsulated in an Ethernet frame with source and destination MAC address okay the sending computer will of course know its source MAC address but how does it know the destination MAC address so from PC1 to PC2 PC1 will know the MAC address of source so PC1 knows about his own MAC address and what about the destination MAC address so how to find out the destination MAC address so using all protocol only we can learn the destination MAC address so here from PC1 if I'm ping uses the ICMP protocol and IP uses the network layer so IP comes under the network layer that is a layer 3 so our IP packet will have the source IP address and destination IP address so normally from one PC to another PC you are trying to ping so that time if you are giving ping and giving the destination IP so in backend the ICMP protocol will use normally ping use the ICMP protocol next IP address source and destination IP address comes under the network layer that is a layer 3 so that's why I mentioned here so next step will be to put our IP packet in an Ethernet frame so now layer 3 to layer 2 is a Ethernet frame so where we set our source MAC address and destination MAC address so now here we have to set our source and destination MAC address okay so address resolution protocol using address resolution protocol we have to find out the destination MAC address so there are two different scenarios are there in our protocol so this is a first scenario so here router 0 I am using one router one switch and two PC ok so PC 0 I am using the IP address as 192.168.0.1 and subnet mask 255.255.258.0 and gateway 192.168.0.254 and PC 1 so I am using IPS 192.168.0.2 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and gateway 192.168.0.254 and router here I will assign the IPS 192.168.0.254 ok this is my first scenario ok when PC0 needs to communicate with PC1 so first point PC0 needs to communicate with PC1 so now PC0 needs to determine whether PC1 is located in the same subnet because this will determine whether the frame will have the MAC of PC1 or MAC of the default gateway. So first point PC0 needs to communicate with PC1. So first thing PC0 will determine the PC1 will come under same network or different network why means so we have to find out the destination MAC address if it's same network means we have to find out the MAC address of PC1 if it's different network means we have to find out the MAC address of gateway using address resolution protocol okay these are the two scenarios 
so this is the first scenario okay so now pc0 determines its network per subnet portion by comparing its ip address to its subnet mask in binary as follows okay so first pc0 ip address is 192.168.0.1 i will be written in binary format next one pc0 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 i have written in binary format so now this ip and subnet mask i will do the und operation so everyone will know how the und operation will be working so if you don't know see this table so a b 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 so if both values are 1 it will be 1 rest everything will be a 0 this is the und operation so now we can check 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 so rest all should be in 0 in second octet first bit 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 okay so i will do the und operation and i will get this output so here i will just look it into the first 24 bits only because subnet mask is 255 255 255 0 so first 24 bit is a network portion so i have to consider first 24 bits only so this is the output okay the ones in the subnet mask identify the network portion okay now pc0 compares the exact same binary bits to those binary bits in the pc1 address as follows so this output i will return again here pc0 network bus subnet id then pc1 ip address i will return in binary format i will compare this pc0 and pc1 so here everything will be all the 24 bits are matched so that means pc0 and pc1 comes under the same network so because the binary bits are same so pc0 concludes that pc1 is in the same network bar subnet so therefore it can communicate directly with it and does not need to send the data to its default gateway so the pc0 now it's conclude the pc1 is comes under the same network so pc0 send the ARP request to pc1 directly it don't want to send the gateway default gateway so pc0 will create a frame with its own source mac address and mac address of pc1 as a destination okay so next point you know about the OSA model and also know we have to go through all the layers so ping so ping use the ICMP protocol and IP use the network layer so our IP packet will have source IP address as 192.168.0.1 and destination IP is 192.168.0.2 so next step we will be put our IP packet in an ethernet frame so where we set our source MAC address as AAA and destination MAC address as BBB so this is source MAC example I will mention as a AAA and destination MAC address I will mention as a BBB so normally if you are giving ping and mention destination IP means by back end the ICMP protocol is running and IP comes under the layer 3 and source IP is 192.168.0.1 and destination IP is 192.168.0.2 so in layer 2 source MAC should be AAA and destination MAC should be BBB so the source and destination MAC I will mention example as AAA and BBB so now wait a second how does PC0 know about the MAC address of PC1 so now pc0 how does he know about the mac address of pc1 so we know the ip address we know the ip address of pc0 and pc1 because we type it but there is no way of pc0 to know the mac address of pc1 because pc0 will know the ip address of pc1 because we can type manually ping and mention that pc1 ip address but we don't know but how the pc0 will know about the mac address of pc1 so there is another protocol we have that will solve this problem for us so that is our protocol so using address resolution protocol we using that protocol we can find out the destination mac address okay so in first scenario so first scenario i'm using this topology using this topology i'll work it out so from pc0 i'm just typing ping 192.168.0.2 so after 
typing that one this is an ORP request so this packet captured from Cisco packet tracer so in layer 2 so the source MAC address here 00E0 and ending with 0351 is a PC0 MAC address and destination MAC address so destination MAC address we don't know PC0 they don't know about the destination MAC address so we have to find out so this is an ARP request so it will send the broadcast MAC address so broadcast MAC address is FFFF okay and source IP should be an source IP should be an PC0 IP 192.168.0.1 and destination IP should be an PC1 IP address because both of them are comes under same network so here 192.168.0.2 okay so we are sitting behind pc0 and we want to send a ping to pc1 so from pc0 only i am trying to ping pc1 so our table so in pc0 in our table there is no entries there so we don't have any clue what is the mac address of pc1 so the first thing that will happen is that pc0 will send our request so pc0 will send the our request so this message basically says who has 192.168.0.2 and what is your MAC address? So in that ARP request, what is uh, who has 192.168.0.2 and what is your MAC address? So since we don't know the MAC address, so since we don't know the MAC address of destination PC2, so we are using the broadcast MAC address as FFFFF. So this message will reach all the computers in the network. So this ARP request will reach all the devices in the same network. Okay. So now PC0 send the ARP request to switch. Switch will broadcast to router as well as PC1. And router check that ARP packet and who has 192.168.0.2. So router check this is not my IP. So the router will drop that packet. Next PC1 check that I am packet we as 192.168.0.2 so pc1 check yes it's me so the pc1 is replying to that ARP request so this is the replying packet so captured by cisco packet tracer so in means from switch to pc1 out means pc1 to switch so in incoming is a request packet so who has 192.168.0.2 what is your mac address so Outlier means the PC1 is replying this is my MAC address 0004.9AEE.75DB and this is a destination MAC address of PC0 and source IP is PC1 IP 192.168.0.2 and destination IP is 192.168.0.1 that is a PC0 IP address ok so PC1 will reply with that message ARP reply so the previous slide this is a ARP reply so I'm basically saying that's me and this is my MAC address. So now PC0 can now add the MAC address to its ARP table and start forwarding data towards PC1. So now PC0 will get the ARP replay from the PC1. After getting replay, the PC0 add the MAC address in the ARP table and started forwarding data to the PC1. So this is the ARP table for PC0. So 192.168.0.2 is a PC1 IP address and that is the this is the MAC address of that IP. Okay. So that is the first scenario. This is second scenario. So in second scenario, I am using one router R0. I am using two switches. Switch 0, switch 2. Here PC0, PC1. So PC0 I am using IP as 192.168.0.1 and subnet mask 250 by 250 by 250.0 and this is a default gateway 192.168.0.254. So here router 0 to switch I am using 192.168.0.254 and router to switch to I am using 192.168.1.254 and PC1 IP is 192.168.1.2. And subnet must 255, 255, 250 .0, and this is a gateway 192.168.1.254. Okay. Normally, one network to another network, definitely we can use router. Okay. So let's see. Now again, when PC0 needs to communicate with PC1. So now PC0 needs to. So again, the PC0 wants to communicate with PC1. So first of all, this IP 
is a p0 ip and p1 ip is 192 168 1.2 so we can easily identify this both of them are from different network but how the computer will identify that destination ip is comes under same network or different network so for that reason only we can use that on the operation so i will explain you once again so again that pc0 needs to determine whether the pc1 is located in the same subnet so first of all this is a topology i built so this is the first time i am trying to ping from pc1 so definitely we don't know the destination ip so destination mac address so using our protocol only we can learn the destination mac address so here either we can find out the mac address of pc1 or router 0 so it's based upon that destination ip comes under same network or different network if it's same network we can find out the mac address of pc1 if it's different network then we can find out the mac address of default gateway so in first scenario we will discuss about that that destination ip comes under the same network so here it will comes under the different network let's see so pc0 determines its network bar subnet portion by comparing its ip address to its subnet mask in the binary as follows so again repeating the same thing pc0 ip address written in binary 192.168.0.1 and pc0 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 written in binary i am doing the und operation i am getting this output so just i will consider first 24 bit only because it's class 24 okay so once in the subnet mask identify the network portion next now pc0 compare the exact same binary bits to those binary bits in pc1 address as follows so what output i will get i just compare with the pc1 ip address so pc1 ip address written in binary format plus 24 bits so pc1 ip is 192.168.1.2 2 so i have to compare this 24 bits so last bit is mismatching so that means pc0 conclude that pc1 pc1 comes under different network so because the binary bits are not same so pc0 concludes that pc1 is in different network bar subnet because the bits are not the same so therefore to communicate with the pc1 it needs to send the data to its default gateway so if you want to if you want to communicate with pc1 so we have to send data to the gateway so pc0 will create a frame with its own source mac address and destination mac address should be an router zeros mac address okay so again this scenario in pc0 concludes that pc1 is in different network so pc0 i am trying to ping 192.168.1.2 so source ip is 192.168.0.1 and destination ip is 192.168.1.2 and source mac address is pc0 mac address and destination mac address we don't know so i am sending our request mentioned as a broadcast mac and destination ip should be an gateway ip because pc1 comes under different network not same network so here we can see source mac address is pc0 mac address and destination mac address we don't know so we are using op request so that's why i'm mentioning here broadcast mac address and source ip should be an 192.168.0.1 is a pc0 ip address and destination ip should be an gateway ip because the destination ip is not come not comes under the same network that's why we are using gateway ip okay now pc0 send the top request to switch switch 0 forward to the router so router will accept that packet so router check that ARP request who has 192.168.0.254 and what is your mac address so router check that ip it's me and is replying this is the incoming request from switch to router 0 this is a broadcast packet afterwards it will be replying so re this is a router 0 mac address and this is a pc0 mac address and this is a router ip 192.168.0.254 and destination ip should be an pc0 ip address 192.168.0.1 okay once pc0 can learn that mac address it will forward the packet to the gateway 
from that gateway from that router it will power out to that pc1 so once pc0 got or replay from the router it will add that mac address in the arp table so here we can see 192.168.0.254 so the mac address should be an 00a so i added in that arp table and type dynamic means it can learn that mac address dynamically so arp is a address resolution protocol using that arp protocol we can find out the destination mac address so here there are two scenarios are there so in pc if you are trying to ping destination ip first of all pc will check the destination ip comes under same network or different network if it's in same network in that arp packet the destination ip should mention as it is as a destination ip in case the destination ip comes under different network in that or packet the destination ip should be an gateway ip so it will learn that gateway mac address and forward the traffic to the gateway from that gateway it will redirect to the corresponding destination network and or works in a layer 2 protocol okay friends i hope you can understand the or address resolution protocol so this question is for you so here i am using one router r0 one switch and two pc pc0 i will assign ip as 10.1.1.10 and subnet mask is 255 255 255 240 and gateway is 10.1.1 and pc1 ip is 10.1.1.20 and subnet mask is 255 255 250 192 and gateway is 10.1.1 and router 0 i will assign ips 10.1.1.1 okay my question is pc0 send or request to pc1 or router 0 this is my first question second question pc0 can able to learn the mac address of pc1 or router r0 and third question pc0 can able to ping pc1 or not so this is my three questions okay once you understand this op concept definitely you can able to answer these questions <coughs> okay friends thank you friends thank you for watching my videos if you have any queries please ping me thank you thank you for watching my video